love is everywhere. Alright, it's better that way that the bob is lighter a little bit. So it has that push and it makes it more realistic that way. Almost like a um, like a heavy bag that you hang up. So I recommend let the bob be a little bit loose like this. So you can work on it and throw it around and um, when you kick it felt you know, gives give and it's uh, a little bit more realistic. Let's see, two more, we'll say. And if you're super close after the back kick to like I was, as I was um, from here, that's when you want to hook that hook kick as much as you can. So just hook that leg, like, just hook that foot and uh, hope it hits. Expect it to hit. One more. the reps um, and the sets that we're doing for everything if you want longer time to practice each thing or just longer time of training but uh, for the sake of time and everything we're just gonna keep going so we have about like 10 more minutes Next one we're gonna do, I, I love spins. I love um, uh, follow-ups. I love transitioning stuff. So we're gonna be doing that right now. So from here, here I'll do it this way. Let's see. From here, we're gonna back and auto ball. So we're gonna go, ooh, my hair. We're gonna go act like we're going back and then spin kick forward okay um I, it's a little difficult practicing like again like i was saying timing stuff with the bob but you still can do it for example from here one two uh back back and then uh forward so we can do that but um um it's really just depends on if what you have available to you um so again we don't have much so for right now, the first one we're gonna do is a step back and then forward Audubon, okay? Let's see how that looks. I have a mirror here and I will move. Okay. So from here, opposite stance that you're going to be kicking, remember, step back, step forward. All about transitioning, okay? And that translate into this right here as well. Back, back, and then forward, okay? My favorite, like, one of my favorites is to do against a cut where they're overextending it or just doing one cut and done, is to time that and come in. Or time that and back kick. Or time that anything. But it's all about timing, really. Um, so we'll just uh, practice this, this technique for right now. Okay? So you go ahead. You can do five, five each leg or however you want to do it.
you go. You can do the other leg. While you're doing the other leg, I'll talk a little bit so I can get more techniques in. Okay, so you can see also when I'm just checking and bouncing, it's very basic, but I'm using this front leg and my hand, my front arm, and back hand as well, but mainly here. Ha, 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 keeping them kind of just like on, uh, on, at unease, okay? And anxious, um, that's a, that's a key right there. Um, also, let's see, let's see, let's see. Not standing, I would love to get into more footwork stuff because that's my, my favorite thing really to work on and to kind of teach, but um, I do that a lot at seminars, so I'd rather just kind of do something different and fun. Um, as in these fancy kicks that I'm doing. Okay, so let's see. What was the other one? Yes. So step back. Audubon. Um, oh yes, I want to get into other, just uh, talk about like the placing of the foot when we're kicking and what we're aiming for, okay? So I'll bring the bob over. You're probably ready for another kick.